The uh, next presenter I'm going to be bringing up is Paul Falcone. He is our Senior Research Clinical Associate. Uh, he is also formerly from Muscle Farm Sports Science Institute. And the reason that I wanted to share that is when he was at Muscle Farm, he actually conducted the study that he's going to share a little bit more about with you on Numentix and how it benefits the uh, gamer. So, Paul, thank you so much. I have oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Kim, and thank you, everyone, for coming today. What we'll be talking about today is focus and reaction time and how Numentix connects mental and physical performance for gaming. So first, we'll start with focus and reaction time and what that means for gamers and for esports athletes. Then we'll move on to Numentix, which is Kemen's natural plant-based spearmint extract grown in the United States with demonstrated cognitive benefits from multiple studies. Then we'll move on and talk about one such study that, as Kim mentioned, I ran at the Muscle Farm Sports Science Institute called the Makoto Study. So eSports. eSports is elite level competitive video gaming. And there's an enormous opportunity here where dozens of games are being played by professional athletes in stadiums like this, and these stadiums are being filled. And so there's a lot of opportunity there, and in our industry we think about how can we improve the performance of these athletes. Now focus and reaction time are two cognitive domains that are essential for gaming. And as we've already seen from Diane's great talk, these are popular call-outs on many supplements for gamers in the market today, regardless of whether it's a drink, a powder, a tablet, or a capsule format. Let's start with focus. Bruce Lee said that the successful warrior is the average man with laser-like focus. And these modern-day warriors in the virtual sphere, sphere, focus is essential. And not just focus, but really sustained focus. Because a lot of these esports athletes are training 12 to 14 hours a day on their game with few to no breaks. So prolonged focus is so critical with these continued hours of play. And if you think about, a lot of gamers will play late at night uh, into the wee hours of the morning, and some supplements may disrupt sleep patterns and may not be ideal for that type of late night gaming. Let's move on to reaction time. What is reaction time? It is quickness to respond. And in esports, typically what you're responding to is another person, either a team, team versus team, or one-on-one. -on -one. You're playing against people who know the game as well as you, play as well as you, are at the highest levels. And any sort of improvement or edge that you can get is gonna mean the difference between winning and losing. However, even in, uh, in more conventional games, there are a variety of stimuli that need to be responded to, whether it's the big bosses at the end of Super Mario Brothers, or whether it is in a game like Candy Crush pictured here, or Tetris, where the game environment itself is your opponent, and the faster that you can respond, the higher scores and the, the greater levels you can achieve. This brings us to Numentix. Now, Numentix is a purpose-grown spearmint, purpose being high polyphenol content. And it's really the phenolic complex that makes Numentix so unique, with over 50 phenolic compounds, including rosmarinic, salvianolic, lithospermic, and caftaric acids, and rosmarinic being the most abundant. But not only are the patented strains of spearmint grown here in the US, so important for the high polyphenol content of Numentix, but then also the water extraction process, which really pulls out those power polyphenols in a very clean process. It maximizes these polyphenols that we're looking for while minimizing a lot of these compounds that are found in oil extracts which might be fine for spearmint flavor, but when you're looking for health and cognitive benefits, 
our patented water extraction process and high polyphenol content are critical. So let's talk about some science. We have 12 studies demonstrating the safety and efficacy of Numentix. Preclinical and mechanism of action studies, and then four human clinical trials. And I would like to focus on this one that was run at the Muscle Farm Sports Science Institute called the Makoto Study. So with the Makoto Study, it is a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial where we took 142 men and women, young and healthy, and randomized them to two groups, placebo and 900 milligrams of Numentix for 90 days. We brought them in for a screening and test familiarization, which is so important in cognitive testing because learning effect is such a huge uh, issue with a lot of cognitive testing. So we familiarized them with the tests. We then brought them back in for uh, for a screen, for, I'm sorry, for a baseline visit, and then supplemented them for 90 days. During that time, we brought them back in at day seven, day 30, and day 90 for post-supplementation testing at a short, mid, and then longer term uh, time point. The outcomes that we looked at, we looked at cognitive performance testing, which we'll be talking about focus today, using the CNS Vital Signs cognitive test battery. We utilized physical performance testing, which we'll talk about reaction time, uh, utilizing the Makoto Arena 2 system, hence the Makoto study name, and then a safety panel utilizing various blood biomarkers, vital signs, and then adverse event reporting. If we look at our subject demographics here, we see that the age range is around 27 years old, for both groups on average. So this is right in the middle of that 18 to 35 demographic that Diane pointed out is so important for gamers, but especially esports athletes who start quite young. As far as age, race, gender, and BMI are concerned, both groups are very well matched. So let's talk about cognitive performance. We utilize the CNS Vital Signs computerized test battery consists of eight widely used neurocognitive tests. And alternate forms were used making it ideal for repeated testing, which as I said is so important because a learning effect is such an issue. So you really want different types of tests so your subjects aren't seeing the exact same test when you're doing repeated testing. CNS Vital Signs is well validated in over 50 clinical trials. And the domain that we'll be talking about when talking about focus or sustained focus, CNS Vital Signs refers to as sustained attention. And the sustained attention domain is made up of three sections of the four-part continuous performance test, part two, three, four, aggregated together. And I'll just run through the test here real quick. Part one, you respond to any stimulus, doesn't matter the shape or color, something comes up, you hit the space bar, positive response. Part two, you respond only to one of these, in this case, the red triangle. So there's some choice involved. Part three, you respond to any two that are the same in a row. So green circle, second green circle, space bar, positive response. And then part four, you respond to two of the same separated by one. So blue square, red triangle, blue square, that second blue square, you press the space bar, positive response. Now this is much more complicated as you go through these parts because with that part four, you really have to keep the last two shapes and colors in your mind the whole time that you're doing that study. And I think that by combining these three, you have this increasing complexity in your domain score that really applies well to the complexity of the game environment. So let's look at our results. Along the x-axis, we see uh, time or day, and we see points at zero, day seven, day 30, and day 90. And then on the y-axis is change from baseline for the sustained attention composite with pneumatics in orange and placebo in blue. First thing I'd like to point out is that the placebo uh, stays around that, that zero time point, so we're not seeing uh, a huge learning effect here. And as we can see at day seven pneumatics, there is a numerical improvement, and that improvement becomes significant at day 30, and that significance is maintained at day 90. 
So quite a robust response. Now, what does this mean? What does this mean for esports e athletes and for conventional gamers? Well, in the data I just showed you, sustained attention improved by 11% after 90 days compared to baseline versus the placebo 0.9%. And for esports, long hours of continued gameplay make this sustained attention so important, both in training and competition. But importantly, sustained attention did continue to improve over time. It's not just a quick fix. And for our esports athletes, this becomes really important because for them, this is a career. This isn't something where they need improvements uh, in hours or days. They need it in months and years. So let's move on to reaction performance. So here is the Makoto Arena device, and it is an innovative tool that provides a game-like atmosphere. It is commonly used as an exer game or as a training device among um, uh, many sports teams, professional sports teams, uh, the Olympics, and a variety of rehab facilities. But we have utilized it, and several other labs as well, as a testing device. So you have audiovisual stimuli in 360 degrees, three towers, each with 16 targets, 12 on each tower and four foot plates. And the tests that we'll be talking about are the stationary or one tower test where you're planted in front of one tower using your hands and feet as the panels light up, but not a lot of lateral or multi-directional movement. And then the multi-directional test pictured here where you're constantly moving around 360 degrees of stimuli the variables that we measured are hits over the 30 second test and then average reaction time. Here are our results. At the top is the one tower test, hits on the left, reaction time on the right, and then the three tower test below. And in the one tower or stationary test, we see statistical improvements at day 30 and those significant improvements are maintained at the day 90 time point with the pneumatics over placebo. If we look at reaction time, and I'd like to point out that lower reaction time is better because we want to be faster, so fewer seconds, we see benefits as early as day seven and then also at day 90. Similarly, with the multi-directional test, we have significant improvements at day 30 and those improvements are maintained at day 90. And then the reaction time at day seven and at day 30. So how do these findings compare to the body of literature? Well, because the Makoto device is an innovative tool, there aren't a lot of studies that we can really look to to compare it to. But there is one study where they took a popular pre-workout with caffeine and various amino acids and supplemented it acutely and found similar benefits numerically. Now, of course, acute supplementation and our 90-day supplementation are not the same thing. And importantly, our study is the first study to show chronic supplementation and cognitive improvements in uh, using a reactive performance uh, device like the Makoto. And this becomes important for esports athletes because we have utilized a game-like atmosphere. And it's, so it's not just the cognitive domains that you want to look at, but certainly the tests that are involved and how much do they apply to the individuals and what their needs are. And by using this game-like atmosphere, I feel that our findings with reaction performance really apply well to gamers and esports athletes. Also, the physical performance benefits that we saw with the multi-directional test apply really well to virtual reality. Now, I'm old fashioned when it comes to gaming. I think about, I grew up on Atari, Nintendo. I think about using a joystick or using a controller. So for me, this seems very futuristic. But the future is now, where the VR League is in season three already, and with games like Echo Arena and Onward, we see a lot of growth in this area, and the physical demands for these esports athletes and gamers is going to continue to grow as well. So in conclusion, 900 milligrams of Numentix improves sustained attention as early as 30 days and maintain this improvement after three months of supplementation. And it also improved reaction performance in both the stationary and multi-directional tests following 30 days of supplementation with effects still present at 90 days in young, healthy individuals. 
Thank you very much. I look forward to your questions at the end.